All right, we're going on Fox News. Going to give you guys a little bit of a behind the scenes tour, see what it looks like. I don't know if they'll let us take the camera inside the studio, but let's see. We're on Jesse Waters' primetime show tonight. We're going to be talking about the New York immigration crisis and how the Democrats running these blue states do not care about their citizenry. They do not care about their constituents. All they care about is illegal aliens and virtue signaling. So, going to be a good night, guys. Got the coke, getting the sugar levels up. Unfortunately, it's a no sugar, bro. Oh, no. It's a coward's coke. <laughs> I don't need the sugar. Yeah. City man, take have a good night. Thank you, have a good day. Are we doxing Fox News? I don't know. I think we go. We're in Miami. People will think we're some of those gay, like, um, what are they called? The Twitch streamers. Jack, it's unacceptable. Get a better internet, please. We're trying to do reality Aren't TV. What the fuck? Instagram Lusty Molly. We should go and start trouble with someone that you can be my, my bouncer. Like, yeah. My security guard. We need like a big Kimbo slice. <laughs> yeah. I think we're walking away from it. Nah, no, we'll do it. We're walking to something, like the fake Ramaswamy says. We as a nation, we want to be walking towards something. <laughs> what a man. Miami News Net doesn't look like Fox. It's a bit under budget. <laughs> <laughs> They're just. I think that's it. You know what? I was expecting to walk into some sort of big elaborate feature and they're like, yeah, yeah. it's 10 4, 10 4, he's here, he's here, he's here. Yeah. <laughs> and then you get here, it looks like a little taco shop. Yeah, actually. <laughs> that's it. Welcome to Fox News. I feel like this looks like like a radio station that a flat earth sort of radio station would, would do their show out of. I hope I'm not just filming someone's house right now. It genuinely could be. Rehab, performance, recovery, yeah. recovery. Now this 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 place wears many hats. I mean, Maybe they're just pranking you. They just told you to come out here and it's fucking rehab. <laughs> <laughs> do you reckon if like they, you need help? Do you reckon if they see this, they'll um, have us on the show again? Maybe you walk in, whole family's there. It's like a an intervention. <laughs> yeah, an intervention. <laughs> and then I'll get there and someone will just blow up. <laughs> I still love you. <laughs> I still love you. It's not on door. This is not a parody, guys. Hi, Vinny. Vinny, it's been a year too. Morning. Very cool. So this is where the magic happens. This is Fox News Miami. I believe these photos will all be people who have crossed over. She looks familiar. There she is there. This is a good hat, don't know. Oh, this dude looks somewhat familiar. I feel like. Oh, it's uh, the English Prime Minister. Boris. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. 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 I don't really think she does, and thank you for having me, Jesse. But I must say, coming from Australia, from an outside perspective, I've always looked at New York from the time I was a little kid as the most amazing city with Big Apple. In New York, AOC was giving a speech about climate change. The crowd said, enough's enough. Stop talking about the weather and start deporting. member of Congress, so keep it pushing, bro. Jake Julius is a podcast host and founder of Rattlesnake TV. Jake, does AOC understand what's happening? I don't really think she does. And thank you for having me, Jesse. But I must say, coming from Australia, from an outsider's perspective, I've always looked at New York from the time I was a little kid as the most amazing city, the Big Apple, the Statue of Liberty, and dreamed of going there. And as an outsider, I'm pissed off. So I can understand why being a New Yorker, and especially a generational New Yorker, why you'd be so angry at these policies. When did you come here? And obviously, you came here the right way. 
Yeah, well, I mean, I came here on a plane and uh, came here the right way. But uh, and I'm also speaking to immigration lawyers as we speak. Okay. So yeah, did it the right way. But been here for a, a, about a month now in Miami. All right. So you've been in this country a month. Has anything shocked you? The only thing that really shocks me, to be honest, Jesse, is the fact that Americans will still self-flagellate and whip themselves and say that they're racist and they're uh, <laughs> such a white supremacist country. If you go to places like South Korea and Japan and you see the cultural homo homogeneity that these countries have, and then you try and tell them that we're going to bring busloads of migrants in, illegal immigrants for that matter, and we're going to pay for them and subsidize them, we're going to pay for their food <laughs> and we're going to pay for their accommodation and give them debit cards, you see how the Japanese respond. Why do you think Americans hate themselves and don't really mind letting their borders be overrun? Well, I think it's because generally uh, it's, it's a culture where people are morally quite good and we, we want the best for people. And we've always had good cultures. We come from the Christian cultural heritage of turning the other cheek and we come from the Christian cultural heritage that has built the greatest civilizations that the world has ever known. So I think that we are good people and we want to see, and Australians as well and British for that matter, we want to see people thrive and benefit. And un unfortunately, sometimes people use it against us. Right. But compassion can also be dangerous. Just ask Joe Biden and Hunter what happened there. Well, I'm glad you're here. <laughs> Don't get into any trouble on the road, and uh, we'll keep you because we like you. I'll just think, I'll just think uh, what would Jesse do, hey? That's right. That'll keep you alive. <laughs> Thanks so much. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Thanks, Jack. Take care, man. All right, good on you. Thanks, bro. Take care. How long did that go for, Uh, a minute and a half. Really? Yeah. What do you think? It's good. What have I got here? Oh, it's in the microphone, eh? Oh, that's my hat. I'm oh, sorry. That's my hat. We'll keep it. We'll hold my hat. Thank you, sir. You're good. Thank you. Thank you, sir. And that's a wrap. Nice short little segment. Yeah, just a couple of minutes on there. I think they were maybe running a little bit behind schedule, but uh, yeah, first time on cable news. So we'll see how. First of many. I don't even know how to find it, but let's see. There's a good point about the Christian culture and people are too nice. Yeah. Well, I think people that just have no idea yeah. are nice, you know? Yeah, and I think, I mean, I think it is one of the truisms of life and it's one of the axioms of a Christian culture is that we do turn the other cheek and we do not only like love, but we forgive our enemies and forgive 70 times 70. And sometimes, unfortunately, uh, you can get taken for granted. And I think that that is the thing that, like Jesse just said to me just then, uh, he said, what has shocked you? And the only thing that shocked me is that they can continue to self-flagellate and hate themselves when really, these societies are good. And if you go to many other different countries around the world, you can see that this is unique, uniquely good over here. And uh, they're uniquely compassionate. And when we are nationalistic in these countries, it tends to be, oh, white nationalist, that's some sort of a swear word. Or, you know, you, you're a nationalist, you're America first. Well, you're right, no, that's totally normal. It always has been, people have always been tribal. People have always been nationalistic. We're the only ones that tend to hate ourselves for it. So that's what I'd say about that. Guys, leave below if you want to see more videos like this because we're going to be doing heaps of these events this year, even sporting events and maybe a few different political events. And we're going to be making videos about it. So if you want to see these vlog type videos where you see a little bit behind the scenes, what we're up to, then let us know because we want to get our travel channel firing. Uh, so yeah, we're going to be doing a lot this year. We're going to be doing heaps of stuff this year. We've got heaps planned. So if you guys want to see what happens behind the scenes, then let us know below and we'll be more than happy to make these videos. But I think that's it for tonight. That's it. Peace.